those who are in the morning, but I suppose you may not all be in the morning if you're catching the replay or if you're catching us on the podcast. So hello. Today we are talking about how to stay consistent. This is something that comes up so much. How do I stay consistent? It's a question I get asked all the time. I also get asked like, how do you stay the same how do you stay at the same level of um, motivation? How do you stay at the same level of consistency? How do you follow through and just keep going the way that you do? And so today I want to share with you some ways that I stay consistent. And I also want to make a note that this isn't just about consistency in your business. This is about consistency in everything that you do. So as always, I'm Rebecca Lockwood, your neuro-linguistic programming trainer, hypnosis trainer, and breakthrough coach trainer. I'm really excited to support you today. So, um, yeah, so let's dive in then. How do I stay consistent? As always, these live videos and these quick wins podcast, if you're on the podcast, um, are always under 10 minutes long. So I try and keep these as short and sweet and actionable as possible um, to give you the really good juice to be able to go in and, and and implement what I teach. So everything's all about action. So let's dive in then. How do I stay consistent? So I'm going to give you some personal examples. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try and keep on track as much as possible. Sometimes when I do these, I just give myself some bullet points just to, you know, know what I'm talking about and give myself something to stay on track with. But I've not even got that this morning. So we'll we'll do this we'll get through it so the first way that i stay consistent then is by becoming really clear on what it is that i want to achieve now so many people come to me and they say um i'm just waiting for like i'm just i'm expecting this thing to have something to happen and then all of a sudden i'm going to become really successful and um, like and a lot of people get into that misconception that they're going to all of a sudden find this one thing. They're going to all of a sudden discover this something that's going to really help them then become really successful overnight. Um, and one of the things that I want to be clear on is that it just doesn't happen like that. Now, it's the smallest, simplest actions that you take consistently that will support you to reach that success. So it's really important to be really consistent ongoing with the actions that you take and um, to reach the success that you want so like I always say and I say this a lot if you've watched my training videos or listened to some of the podcasts I say you know never ever ever underestimate the power of simplicity and I said <laughs> last week I said it should be the title of my next book and um, you know never ever underestimate the power of simplicity because it is the simple actions that you take every single day that will stack up and create the success that you want in your life and your business so to give you an example then one um reaching out and connecting with potential clients now the simple act of reaching out and connecting with um potential clients is just that it's very simple reaching out sending a message to people picking up the phone and making a phone call and speaking to people and building connections and connecting with people personally now that is a very simple action to take because it breaks down as one reach out and send a message two ask them about themselves three invite them to speak to you on the phone them actions are very simple but not done consistently will it doesn't get you anywhere yeah nothing's going to stack up and nothing's going to happen if you just do it once in a blue moon or once in a while you know you need to be really consistent with the simple actions another example in my home life every single morning i get up i get dressed i get ready i do my makeup i get the girls up i get the girls ready i get them dressed i bring them downstairs give them the breakfast and then i do the dishes sort out the dishwasher put the um clothes washing on and then i come upstairs and get my own breakfast now some days i just don't feel like i want to do that some days i'm like i just can't be bothered carrying all the washing downstairs and putting it in the washing machine or you know i just want to sit down and have a cup of tea and i don't want to do the dishes and do the dishwasher but the act of consistently doing it means that the house is tidy there's no procrastination because when it comes to working on my business, all of that stuff is done, it's out of the way and it's sorted, right? And it's the simple act of consistency that keeps that flow going. 
So here are a couple of ways I keep myself consistent then. So one of the ways that you can do this is by using something like Trello or Asana. So these are project management tools that you can sign up to for free. And we tend to use Trello more than Asana. And you can create a board in that. Now, if you already use Trello, fantastic. Create yourself another board. And if you're new to Trello and you don't know what it is, just Google Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O, and create a free account. When you create that account, you just create a free um, board. Now, basically, I just call my board uh, Rebecca Lockwood, right? And then I split it into days, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And what I do is I write a list of all of the activities that need doing consistently in my business and my life. And then I break it down into days. So on Monday, I need to follow these tasks. On Tuesday, I need to complete these tasks. On Wednesday, I need to complete these tasks, right? And then do that for every single day. And, you know, some days you might say, I don't complete any tasks. It's my family day today, you know, and that's fine. But what happens then is every single morning when I sit down at my desk, the first thing that I do is open up Trello and I can see the board. So I don't need to think about what I need to do. I don't need to, you know, um, get overwhelmed and anxious because I used to do about what I need to complete that day because it's all in my Trello board sat there. I just need to read it off and complete that task. So that's one way of staying consistent. Another way of staying consistent is by allowing yourself to feel the feelings of motivation. Now, basically what you want to do is you want to go back to a time where you felt really, really motivated to do something, where you were really excited about it and you were really motivated to do it and you just did it. Now, if you ever feel like you don't want to do something, and I use this a lot in the mornings, but I don't want to get up and do the dishes, <laughs> not the most exciting task to do, um, but I know it needs to be done. So imagine a time in the past where you felt really motivated to do something. Go back to that time and see what you saw and feel the feelings of the motivation that you felt back then. And then what we're going to do is we're going to borrow that feeling. So bring it back to now. Now, now you've imagined what those feelings feel like, let yourself feel them feelings now. Allow them feelings to bubble up in your body and feel the feelings of motivation and just act in accordance with them feelings. So there are my tips today with um, staying consistent. <laughs> forgot what I was, well, I can't even speak. I forgot what I was talking about for a second. <laughs> um, so I'm going to love you and leave you. As always, I'm Rebecca Lockwood, your neuro-linguistic programming trainer, hypnosis trainer, and breakthrough coach trainer. I'm regularly featured in places like BBC, Cosmopolitan, Women's Health, and more as an expert in mindset and mental health and building a successful business. If you need anything from me, ladies, please do give me a shout. I've got some free breakthrough coaching sessions available at the moment for 30 minutes. And we've had some ladies have some amazing results from them. So I'm going to pop the link in the description. So do go ahead and book yours and hopefully I'll see you on there soon. Have an amazing day, have an amazing week and I'll see you all soon.